y'all and welcome to my channel so um and i'm really glad to have y'all here because we're going to be making a very small table now these are the legs and don't those look like snake heads or like snakes kind of really funky looking isn't it and then that's the um top now if you'll notice um that I'm not really happy because that top has um, a defect in it. Um, now this pigment paste is from Larez Expressions, um, and trust me, y'all, that is not blue. It is green. It is the most beautiful color green I think I've ever seen. So. Um, Anyway, um, and then I wanted to put my mermaid's tail, chunky glitter, um, inside of the peacock dance. That's the name of the pigment paste. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go mix up my resin, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got um, eight ounces of resin mixed up. And um, I'm using the Illumilite Amazing Clear Cast because this is a big project, and um, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to have these pieces cure so I can have a solid piece, or you know what I'm saying. Um, with the KS resin right now, it's not curing. Um, I'm going to save that for a lot smaller projects. Um, so for larger projects like this, um, I'm going to use up all of my Aluma light. And then um, I have ordered some Puduo resin, which came today. And I'm so excited about using it. But I've got to use up my other resin first. Otherwise, I'm going to have bottles of resin open resin just all over the place so anyway um you saw me mixing up the peacock dance um pigment paste and if you'll notice it didn't really take a lot um even to have an opaque look to it um and i just threw in the mermaid's tail um I knew I wanted a pretty solid coverage for this table. Um, and you'll see what I mean um, a lot later on when I show the finished project. But look at that. Uh, <laughs> trust me, y'all. This is not blue. It's green. That reminds me of, remember, I don't know, was it last year? I don't remember when, but when when the 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 big thing was is the dress blue or is it pink you know what do you see but no this this in all actuality this it's it's green <laughs> so anyway um i'm just gonna pour it in my mold and just to make sure that um you know if you have this mold or if you want to get this mold, um, you know, just bear in mind that you want to avoid pouring over basically anything that sticks up. Um, see what looks like those little eyeballs and, um, you know, the middle, um, things like that. Because after it cures and you put it together, um... You know it's going to be a lot easier to assemble so the space you can see right here um the space is really not that wide so um i did not want to over pour so i'm just taking my stick and um dropping that resin in there to make sure because 
If I try and pour that in there, yeah, I'm I have resin all over the place. So I am I am not a delicate resin pourer, I guess. So um yeah, I'm just going back and just checking out where I need to level or make sure that the resin is level. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the other side. So I do want to let y'all know that I do have a major announcement coming up um, once I reach 400 subscribers. Um, I do have a major announcement, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, so just stay tuned. Don't change that channel. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing the same thing to this one as I did the other one. And if you'll notice, um, I keep pouring from the big cup to the smaller cups because it's a lot easier for me to handle the smaller cups rather than, um, you know, just taking that big cup and trying to pour that into these molds. It's just easier for me. Um, Y'all can do it however you want to, but, you know. This, I'm, I'm, you know, when you see me doing this, don't feel like, you know, I have to pour from the big cup to the small cup. No, you don't have to. It's just personal preference. Oh, if y'all hear a beeping, that's the workers next door. Um, the people moved out, so there's a construction company that um, are going in there making renovations to that house. Because these houses, you know, where I live are about 45 years old. So, um the one next door actually i would like to have the one next door because um it's a one story <laughs> so um yeah when i got married to my late husband he had this house so um you know i moved in here um then when you know guests guests would come and stay or you know we had a family member come and live with her kids and, you know, once everybody was gone and now um, he has passed on, it's just me here in this house. So, um, yeah, hopefully sometime next year I'm going to have to, well, I don't have to, but I want to because it's just, it's, you know. It's too much for me, especially um, I've got knee problems from an old, um, from an old, old injury. Um, and so, plus I've gained um, a little bit of weight <laughs> um, after he passed. So, yeah, it's, it's really difficult for me to, you know, be going up and down the stairs. 
So, um, you know, I'm, I'm basically, I don't use all of the upstairs except to go, you know, go to bed, take a shower. You know, I don't, I don't use the rest of the rooms. It's a four bedroom house. Um, so, and of course he had to have, well, he didn't have to have, but you know, you, you want a, a good size house when you, you know, his ex-wife had two teenage girls. And so, you know, with everybody having their own room, you know, it was nice, but now, you know, it's, I don't need all that space anymore. So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be a chore. <laughs> really not looking forward to that, but who does? Who looks forward to moving? Anyway, um, as you can see, I have my trusty little flower heart mold there. And um, it's already got clear resin in it from a previous pour. So um, I'm just going to spray these with alcohol. And um, yeah, we're, we're good to go. Going to cover them up. And I'll be back. So... Um, yeah, see, it, they're not bendy. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. I think it's just that one particular brand resin. The KS resin that's just giving me a problem. Look at that, y'all. Oh, I love it. It even looks better on camera than it does in person. Uh, I just, you know, I, I really wish that these cameras on these phones would show y'all the true color when you're filming. I mean, it's really not fair to y'all because looking at this, you're thinking, oh, that's such a pretty blue color. No, it's not blue. You know, I've even heard people, you know, I watch a couple of um, channels where people are, you know, the acrylic paint pouring and, you know, they're saying, no, this, this is not this color. It's this color. But, um, yeah, that's, that's one part of the table. Nice and shiny, sparkly. And here we go with the other part. I haven't made my mind up yet, but um, I might make some more of these because um, I don't know if y'all remember the, um, the series I did with making the boxes for um, my cactus plants. Um, so... Right now, they're sitting on the windowsill outside, so it would kind of be nice for them to, you know, kind of have their own tables to sit on. What do y'all think? I don't want to bore y'all with, you know, just making tables all the time. You know how I felt when I, when I asked y'all, you know, are you going to be bored with me just showing y'all how to make boxes, you know, with, with planting my cactus in, and y'all are like, no, no, we want to see more boxes, and I'm, okay, look at that, oh, I love the sparkly, see, and if you notice, you may have to back it up, but um, if you'll notice on the top of that, um, you know, on the very top, you can see the blemish from the mold um, that was transferred on the top of that that disc. Um, I just I don't like it. It anyway. 
here it is. See, now you can see it's green. I should have set it up on my other table, but. Okay, y'all. So until the next video, take care.